myself is professor dr rajendra deshpande we are in the ayurved college nigdi pradhikaran pune 44 today is a tuesday that is 30th 30 of august 2016 and today we are going to learn how to do the examination of respiratory system so let me clear off that we are going to adjust two things one is the slide presentation and followed by the demonstration as we have the restriction on the youtube where we can upload very easily 10 minutes uh, schedule so we will break this session in two parts first part will be up to inspection and second will be the palpation percussion and auscultation so my dear friends today we are going to learn how to do the examination of respiratory system so let us go on the slide system examination presented by professor dr rajendra deshpande md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology my personal website is www.ayurvedicfriend.com mobile number 9226810630 and mail my mail id professordeshpande@gmail.com my dear friends respiratory systems are very very common in our general practice so here is the list of the diseases that you get from the nose up to the lung starting from the rhinitis pharyngitis tonsillitis followed by laryngitis bronchitis and when you consider the lung parenchyma it is the pneumonia then when you consider the bronchus bronchial spasm that is bronchial asthma then chronic illnesses like bronchiectasis and emphysema and the last but not least is a tuberculosis which is very very common nowadays in india because of the flaring of hiv or aids now examination should be done in sitting position at least as a theoretical part or when you are going to demonstrate it for the student purpose in the clinical practice sometimes it is done in the lying down position and then the patient is asked to sit down but here we are going to ask my volunteer here also i would like to thank mr satish kale who is helping us in this particular project as a volunteer so we will ask him to sit on the stool why because the back side of the lung is also very very important to examine because many respiratory diseases occur on the back side of the lung this respiratory system examination is divided into two parts one is upper respiratory system examination next is lower respiratory system examination as you know very well when our upper part is affected we call in our practice as a u r t i upper respiratory tract infection upper respiratory tract is consist of nose oral cavity throat and larynx and when we are going to examine the lower part that is the main part of our lung or the chest we will do inspection palpation percussion and auscultation let us begin with upper respiratory tract you must remember you must use the torch good light is essential to examine your nose we are going to examine the nose in typical position that i am going to show you when we are going to demonstrate it what we are going to see in the nose septa internasal septum that is many times affected as a problem like d and s that is deviated nasal septum which can be the cause of chronic rhinitis then we will going to check the mucous membrane whether there is a discharge discharge may be watery mucoid or mucopurulent remember watery discharge is always with the allergic condition and when your discharge becomes yellow and green then you may need some antibiotic according to the modern science next we are going to see the oral cavity and pharynx for that we will ask mr satish kai our volunteer to say ah and putting the torch in it we are going to see the teeth tongue gums cheek pharyngeal wall tonsillar fossae position of the uvula and pharyngeal arches but what is to be seen check whether the part is red whether there are secretions whether there is any patch because some patches are very very dangerous as you know about the leukoplakia 
which is called as a pre malignancy condition especially when the patient is of tobacco chewing that affects the your cheeks also although it is outdated but sometimes white patch of diphtheria should be checked out then examination of larynx is done by two ways direct laryngoscopy and indirect laryngoscopy of course that we are not going to demonstrate that is a part of ent then how to cue the position sitting position and hunch on the vest in the inspection these things we are going to check size and shape of the chest it should be the symmetrical elliptical in shape then type of the respiration whether it is abdominal respiration or thoracic respiration then we will going to count the rr that is respiratory rate then we are going to see the chest expansion with deep breathing then we will check position of the trachea then we are going to see the apex bit and also we will look whether accessory muscles are acting or not in the size and shape we will look whether it is symmetrical or asymmetrical whether there is a convexity on the both the sides in physiological condition transverse diameter should be greater than the antero posterior diameter but when it is a pathology like emphysema there will be barrel shaped chest in which transverse diameter is equal to antero posterior diameter and in the cases of bronchial asthma the chest is called as pigeon chest where transverse diameter is less than the epidermis so here are the pictures what you can see in the pathological conditions barrel chest and right side pigeon chest then we will going to see the act of respiration type of the respiration whether it is abdominal or thoracic of course mr satish kale is a male volunteer so in males there is abdominal respiration in the females there is a thoracic respiration then we are going to count the respiratory rate by looking into the protrusion of the abdomen and checking it for one minute normal count is 14 to 18 per minute then we are going to ask the patient to take a deep inspiration and expiration while doing the deep inspiration there should be expansion equal on both the sides we are going to observe on the back side also we are going to check the movement of the scapula then we are going to see position of the trachea for that we have to observe the head of the sternomastoid muscle that two heads should be equally prominent on both sides that indicates that your trachea is in central sometimes due to the pathology trachea can be pulled or trachea can be pushed lastly look for the apex bit it is in the fifth left intercostal space in mid clavicular line of course the major of the part is already shown when we are have done the cardiovascular system examination and lastly in this first session accessory muscles actually they are normally not present but when the patient is severely dyspneic breathlessness in pneumonia for example in asthma in the pneumonia in the children you will get the movement of ally nasal the muscles of the nostril and in the adult person in the bronchial asthmatic patient you will see the movement of sternocleidomastoid muscle so this will end the only first half of our video and we will continue after demonstration the second half of our video so i will request to pause over here and we will go for demonstration okay so we will start to demonstrate how to do the examination of the respiratory system as you can see the patient is in the sitting position first we are going to check the upper respiratory tract this part and then we are going to check the chest as such so upper respiratory tract consists of nose then oral cavity then throat and then the pharynx okay next when we are going to do the examination of the chest it will include the inspection palpation percussion and auscultation we will start with the examination of nose the position should be like this i request that you can focus on that particular position and then i am putting the torch in it and we have to examine the nose 
what we are going to see the first is nasal septum then the mucous membrane whether there are any secretions like watery mucoid and the blood is there so all these things can be examined by this nose examination now you can do the r so i am going to examine now the throat for any redness inflammatory changes then secretions is there any patches over there then uvula arches and all these things i am checking with the gums and teeth so this is the examination of the oral cavity okay now we are going to check the chest as such of course here i have to examine that by examining the oral cavity as i have not done but larynx can be examined by direct laryngoscopy and indirect laryngoscopy okay now we will go further with the inspection first you can see the size and shape this part now you can see this is equally distributed there is no bulging anywhere there is no retraction over here both the sides are symmetrical okay so this is the most important part the shape is elliptical this is called as a transverse diameter i am doing the inspection although for for the explanation purpose i am touching the person but the inspection is by just looking the eyes so i am looking the shape is okay is symmetrical is convex in shape not too much convexity then transverse diameter is more than the ap diameter that is most important part then we are i am going to check the respiratory type of the respiration khol shwas gaya soda gaya khol shwas soda nahi gaya soda now you can focus on this abdomen take a deep breath gaya khol shwas soda usually in the gen patient the abdominal respiration is there and in the ladies there is thoracic respiration now when i want to count this i can make like this i can observe the positions and look into my watch and for the whole one minute of course as a part of demonstration i am just telling you how we can examine by inspection also and some people can put the hands like this and how many times the hands is going up and down so this is called as a respiratory rate next then i am going to see the expansion that means how it is expanding on the both sides ya khol shwas see both the sides are equally expanding naturally the air is going equally on both the side this expansion is telling you that air is going equally on par dekha gaya chalo uske baad shwas gaya soda shwas gaya soda okay zara pathi magcha bazula wala part dakhwa tumchi tikde bolun basa on the back side also you have to see the expansion gya khol shwas soda see the movement of the scapula gya khol shwas wings are going out soda gya soda okay par sarva basa next now we have to check this apex bit apex bit is always here fifth left intercostal sphere in mid clavicular line if there is excessive bulging is there excessive retraction is there but apex bit should also be examined while doing the respiratory system examination because cardiopulmonary is the same unit now next is position of the trachea so here you can focus these are the two heads these are the heads of sternomastoid muscles so these heads should be equally prominent that means his trachea is over here this is, although it is inspection for the demonstration purpose i am showing you this is the head of the sternomastoid and this should be in the central position when you are going to inspect the particular trachea next now the last part of inspection you have to look for the accessory muscles for example in pneumonia in the children these muscles are called as alli nasi these these are called as alli they are moving like this excessive movement is there so this is alli nasi if there are predominant the patient the child is very high temperature huh? and without putting the auscultation if you see just by inspection that is alli nasi are moving you can diagnose that definitely is chest is full of cuff that we can confirm with the auscultation and also here ya yeah, khol shwas is normal breathing so these muscles this 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 is you can see on the one side so this is the sternocleidomastoid muscles this portion sternocleidomastoid so i will tell you you can focus when the patient is asthmatic from the long you can identify like so these all the muscles are moving these are called accessory respiratory muscles so by inspection again i will repeat we have to check the size and shape we have to check the uh, once again 
we will go back like type of respiration whether it is abdominal or thoracic next we are going to check the respiratory rate by looking it towards it then we have to check the chest expansion as such next point is the position of the trachea over here then you have to look apex bit and last point is looking for the accessory muscles this ends the inspection of the respiratory system so we are doing the shooting of how to do the examination of respiratory system we are doing it in two parts so first part is over here and in the next part we are going to see palpation percussion auscultation etc thank you